All right, Regina, so when you go home tonight, yes. turn off all the lights. Okay. And if you're lucky, you might see part of a meteor shower. Great idea. Now, but if you have to follow Sabrosa, so get the best look for the stars. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews shows us what to do. Tonight is a great night to try and see some meteors across Hampton Roads and eastern North Carolina. The Geminid meteor shower peaks tonight. You're probably going to see around 10 to 20 in the city and about 15 to 30 in rural areas. If you go online, you're going to see a lot of articles that kind of overinflate these numbers. I'm giving you some realistic numbers because we have a lot of light pollution in our area, okay? And that impacts what you can see. The best time tonight into Thursday morning, uh, anytime overnight you can see a few, but the best is after around 10 p.m. when the sky is just a little bit darker. Here's a couple of meteor shower viewing tips for you. First off, of course, the further you are away from city lights or even lights in your own backyard, the better. Give your eyes about 10 to 15 minutes to adjust. Avoid your phone. Don't pick up your phone and look at it during that time because the light from your phone will cause your eyes to become less sensitive. Be patient and I, you know, meteor showers are really exciting, but I always like to say have low expectations. You may see the high number there or you may just see a few. Any way you look at it, a couple meteors is pretty cool overall. Tonight, it's going to be a cold one. If you are going to be out trying to see the meteor shower tonight, bundle up. Temperatures will be falling down around 40 degrees. Not much of a wind, just about 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. But certainly, it will feel rather cold outside across our area. And we should have mainly clear skies.